Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to the Hamilton Let's Play. Today I was fully oh, planning on having a casual episode going back to the roots of this Let's Play, going back to Hamilton and just, you know, have a casual episode, not really doing much. I have no idea where I am. Okay, there, there we are. Uh, but then I saw this. Apparently Lawrence is very angry. I saw the red thing around his face and I was like, okay, he's angry. He's also currently hitting the bear in the kids' room they have. Um, he does not have a good relationship with Blarvy at the moment. But even more interestingly, and actually kind of sad, this is the reason why he's angry? No! <laughs> Dang it, Hamilton, what are you doing? Flirty spouse from Jealousy, John's spouse aka Hamilton was flirting with another have they been doing this behind his back this makes me worried because normally I'd just be like oh that's probably just a glitch like whatever maybe it was like a group conversation and he misunderstood and blah blah blah, blah. but in the musical Hamilton kind of has a history of not being the most loyal person in the world so Today, what we're going to be voting on is, did Hamilton cheat or not? Was he actually flirting with someone? Yes or no? What direction do you guys want this story to go? Do you want him to maybe even fully cheat? Or maybe he was just flirting with someone? They're all going to be in the eye in the corner right now, so vote on what direction you guys want me to take this story. Because it's there. It's a thing that could be happening. Um... And John Lawrence is quite upset about it, which I understand. Also, Turtle is not doing well. Um, I don't know if they've actually like been feeding him and stuff like that. Do they have? Do they even have a food bowl and a litter box? I don't think so. I think I forgot to put in litter boxes and food bowls in literally every single household. So I'm gonna be fixing that. So Lawrence currently wants to lie about his career to Hamilton. He wants to insult someone's face, but then he also wants to be friendly with Alexander from being in a near friendly relationship. From being near a friendly relationship. Oh, how is this couple so cute? Like he's upset and so angry and he still wants to be friendly to Alexander. I'm worried though. I don't know what I need to do about this. I think the next thing I really should do. Also, they need to go to work. Like why are they always skipping work? Why is this a thing? Um, just, just, just go to work. Just like really quickly go to work because I, I don't think you should be near Lawrence at the moment since he kind of wants to insult your face <laughs> and also wants to be friendly with you, but also wants to insult your face. So, you know, but uh, maybe we can do some stuff to maybe possibly calm him down. Maybe he can paint a little or something. I don't know, something to not make him as angry anymore. He's missing work, but also... I don't really know if he's good to go to work right now. Maybe we can hit... I don't want to hit him, but we can yell at him. I mean, I feel bad for Blarfy, but it's also a stuffed animal, so I think he'll be fine. Um, what's other things that he can do? I know there's stuff. Maybe calm himself down in the mirror. I think that's an option. And he can also take a cold shower, so those are all options he can do. He's currently trying to calm himself down in the mirror. I'm not ignoring this, but I do want him to not be as angry anymore, because if something makes... What is he doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> that that was a weird pose. Eat I don't know what that was. Farclay. I'm confused. Also, look at the painting of Hamilton voice. right there. Oh, <laughs> That's so weird. Let's Marcia frame the Pitano? canvas. <laughs> I'm so Marcia weird. <laughs> I remember us doing that. <laughs> that was really fun. That was the honeymoon that. episode. Oh my god. Oh, you guys. Okay, let's also fill up this food bowl because I don't want Turtle to suffer. Um, so calm yourself down. Take a cold shower. Because if he gets more angry, he can actually die from being too emotional because Sims can do that. So I don't want him to get too upset. Oh, look at Turtle. Hi, Turtle, are you okay? I'm sorry for not putting in any food bowls and stuff like that. Oh, you can stomp in the trash. You know what? You can stomp in the trash. 
Do all of those angry things. Get that emotion out there. Let's leave the trash for Hamilton. Uh, I think if he really flirted, he deserves that at least. <laughs> he can clean up the trash on his own. Let's just talk to Turtle a little bit and maybe give him a treat and um i don't know hug him pet him and do all that sort of stuff because it might help lawrence calm down a little bit i mean he deserves to be angry don't get me wrong but also i'm worried about him so it's good to uh maybe help him calm down a little bit At least Turtle is currently not in a bad mood anymore. I don't know. Let's maybe paint oh. something. Did I put an... I, I think I put an easel outside here. Yeah. Let's maybe paint something. Uh, maybe paint something angry. Yeah, let's do an angry painting. Because maybe that will help him put his emotion into the painting and out of, out of his system. And hopefully that will make him a little better. I feel like this is the kind of painting you make when you're really angry and you'll just get the paint and just go crazy like ah! <laughs> And this is the kind of painting that you get when you're a toddler and you're angry. I don't know about this. Oh, and he, he... Yep, <laughs> he knocked over the trash can. And he's inspired now from painting probably artistic expression that's nice uh he's also from uh, inspired from a good decorated environment and probably also something about hugging his cat so you know what he is feeling better um hamilton is currently in a confident mood i wouldn't be because when you get home um he's still quite angry how long is he gonna be angry three hours and when is hamilton coming home in 30 minutes should they fight? Oh, I don't know, you guys, because you're not actually here, so I cannot decide right now if they should fight about this or not. I don't know. I feel like Lawrence would be really angry, though. Like, he's not the kind of person to just let this... To just let this go, you know? I don't know, he feels a lot better. But then also, like, he's not gonna let Hamilton walk all over him. He's gonna say something about this. But then we haven't decided if this was real or not. Because it's, it could be that Lawrence was just jealous from seeing Hamilton talk to someone and just misunderstanding the situation. Because, you know, Hamilton, he's kind of like a flirty person. He just kind of talks that way, in my opinion, at least. I feel like he kind of just... It seems like he's flirting with everyone. It seems like he was flirting with Angelica. It seems like he was flirting with Eliza. It seems like he was flirting with Lafayette. It seems like he was flirting with Lawrence. It's just kind of that way. So we don't know if he actually flirted with someone or maybe it was just a misunderstanding. But I'm happy we, we helped Lawrence calm down a little bit. At least we did that. Maybe we can go to a different household right now and just see what we can do there because... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. I need to wait and see what you guys thought about. And then we can decide on what we're gonna do next. So a little bit down the road, we have a mullet. And Mulligan is currently making drinks. And he is quite happy. So that's good. No drama going on here. Since I did one kind of cutesy stuff in this episode, we might as well go two houses down and hopefully get some cutesy stuff out of mullet instead of lambs this time. Because, you know, drama going on. Uh, the house is quite messy and Lafayette is currently running late for work. He has 25 followers though and he reached level 2 charisma skill so maybe he can... Oh, he's working from home. Okay, that's good. Maybe he can work on that. Level up his charisma skill. How is his charisma skill doing? And do mischief on five different sims. Yeah, we're not gonna do that uh, on Mulligan because we might have drama that way. How is his... Um... Christmas skill. Ooh, it just leveled up. Yeah, we're not gonna be uh, able to achieve that today, but we can definitely do like mischief, miss mischievous stuff on um, people walking by. Maybe, possibly, hopefully, maybe we can fizz a burr. 
ah, I kind of want to do that too. We can invite him over. I don't know if he would actually show up though. I mean, I guess we can try. It's kind of funny. Okay, let's invite him over to hang out at the current lot and then see. <laughs> and I mean, they kind of tease him a little bit in the musical too, so it makes sense. It's also kind of mean, but it also makes sense and it's also kind of funny. There we go, Aaron Burr will be right over. <laughs> I'm sorry, is it five different sims or just, yeah, five different sims, okay. Well, we can only do one mischievous thing on on Burr specifically for, for his goal, but um, at least we can do one. <laughs> I feel bad, okay, well, let's just pick one. Let's pick something, something fun. Let's pick something fun and not mean. Give fake bad news, okay, like, that's mean, we don't do that. Invite to a fake party. Lie about career, scare him, start a rumor, or trick with hand buzzer. I kind of want to trick with hand buzzer. I feel like... Love oh, he's flirty. Look at you go, Burr. Being flirty? Who were you flirting with? Were you flirting with Mariah? She was in your household. Oh, no, I missed it. Wait, no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Dang it. I missed it. <laughs> I was... Too, too distracted by the flirting thing, but also we can still kind of see it. It worked though. Look at his face. Oh my God. Look at his face. That's really funny. Okay, that's actually really funny. I hope he takes the joke well. I hope he takes it as a joke and not like, Ooh. oh, oh, he, he thought it was funny. Oh, look at him. They're actually kind of bonding over this and Mulligan is joining too. Oh, that's actually really cute. I like that he took it as a joke and not like got really upset. He acquired the mischief skill so we can go around and look, they even have a friendship bar now. Oh, that's really nice of him. Is this one of the townies? Does someone recognize her? I think it might be one of the townies that uh, one of you guys created for me. Let's be a mischief -esterer. Yes. <laughs> Uh, let's do a friendly introduction. Maybe a cheerful introduction. Work on his charisma skill a little bit. Okay, we're doing a cheerful introduction. And then we can pick something. Uh, maybe possibly do another hand buzzer thing. Hopefully, I don't know. We'll see. Let's not be mean. Let's be mischievous. Give fake bet and fight. Let's lie about his... No, maybe scare her. That's kind of mean, but also kind of funny. Let's scare her. I don't know why. I'm just feeling mischievous today, apparently. <laughs> he did it. Is she happy? Okay, yeah. She's also, she also thought it was kind of funny. Okay, <laughs> that's good. So we found another target. So we can... There's a rumor going around. Crazy party. No, thank you. Uh, we can definitely also be mischievous to uh, this person. I don't know who he is, but that's fine. Let's see if we can find... No, do, do the funny... In yep, please do the introduction so I can click on a mischievous thing. Yes, please, no. Are you doing it? I think so. Okay, let's see. More choices. Mischief. And then... Hmm, let's start a rumor. I don't know why. Let's just start a rumor. How many people do we have to do after this? I think two. I think we'll be able to achieve it. Yeah, there's two more left. But it is getting kind of dark. So maybe there won't be as many people walking by. I really hope that Washington is walking by at some point. Probably not. But we can try at least. <laughs> I don't know. He's always here. So why wouldn't he be at this moment, right? I don't know. Maybe not. More people walking by. Look at that. We only need two more people. So let's do a nice introduction. Wait. MC Command Center. No, I, I just want to introduce you. No. Okay. Okay. Apparently we can't. But we can do a friendly introduction to Luna. So let's maybe do another trick with hand buzzer. We haven't done that in a while, so we might as well. And since everyone thinks it's kind of funny anyway, we might as well try to scare Mulligan too. Because I think he will take the joke. So, you know, let's just see what happens. And he thinks it's funny too. That's good. So we've now completed the do mischief on five different sims goal. Uh, which made us some money, which is good. Uh, and they've also completely dived into flirting right away, which was my plan anyway, to do one mischievous interaction and then do a lot of cutesy flirty stuff since I did promise you guys a lot more of that. So to end up this episode, I had them sit on the couch and just do some cutesy romance stuff because I did promise you guys to have some of that, but we kind of got distracted by, uh, you know, being mischievous to Aaron Burr and <laughs> tricking him with a hand buzzer and ending up having a friendship with him. 
I don't know how that happened, but apparently it did. And for the end of this episode, don't forget to vote on what you want to see for Lambs next week, and also leave some suggestions on other things you would like to see in this Let's Play. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye!